In early 2022, Canva made some updates to how you can use your uh, brand kits. So I wanted to show you how to make those updates. All right, so if you're gonna go to your home page in Canva and you're gonna have your style guide open here. Um, I'm using the Eleanor collection um, right here. So I have that open because I'm going to be using these colors as I create the brand kit. So go to brand kit and you may have something here already, um, but if you don't, you're gonna say add brand kit here and then name it whatever you need to name it all right and here's where you can load your logos in um, make sure you put your the logo that you want to show up um, at the top of your brand kit in last so maybe load them all in and then put your favorite one right at the end because it's going to show up um, on the top part of your uh, brand kit so, and then you're gonna go here to color palette. And this is when we're just gonna click on these colors here and go grab this code, copy, and then come over here and paste. So I did command C while this was highlighted and then command V in this box. And then over here again, you can put them in whatever order. Maybe you could put your favorite um, colors that you like to use like your top three at the beginning, um, easier to find. You can go right through the, right through like this if you want to. And you'll keep adding these colors until it's all done. All right, and there we go. Then you can add your brand fonts. So I'm looking here, Baskerville. Click on that, start typing in, in that box. Okay, and you can set that to whatever size you like. I usually go a little bit smaller on this. Um, I, I look at this on the style guide and make it about that size. All right, so then you would go add your fonts there. Um, and you may need to upload the fonts if there are any uploaded fonts here when you're creating your brand kit. Okay, so you're gonna go add those in there. And then when you're working on your projects, you'll notice when you click on the color, you'll see um, right here, this is the style guide that I'm using. And if I go like this, there's the Eleanor. So I would have Eleanor be at the top of my list and then I can make those changes. Um, you know, these are the colors already that I loaded in that I'm using. So, um, but you can see that, that all of those are right there. And the same thing happens when you go to type in text, you'll notice that the Eleanor fonts are gonna be here. It's nice to have everything always on that sidebar, uh, makes it easier for you. It saves you a lot of time, so you're not like typing in all of the fonts each time, you're not typing in all of those colors. It really is a time saver, so make sure you add that brand kit. All right, thanks.